Hi, this is Fiona. I just wanted to do a short grounding meditation. There's kind of a lot going on in the world right now with the protests, there's COVID-19, and there's the whole just um, curfew restrictions, having to stay inside and things being shut down and people just really on edge right now. So this is just a guided, a guided uh, grounding meditation just to help bring you into your body and bring you more peace so that you can just be more present with your thoughts, your feelings, and being in your body. So let's start just and kind of pat your body and just say hello to your body. Hello, body. Sometimes we spend so much time outside of our body and we forget what it's like to actually be inside our body. And a lot of times we will leave our body if it's just too much too much pain or emotion we'll just leave so it's good to come back so what we're gonna do is start with a grounding cord so at the base of your spine you're gonna create a grounding cord it goes from the base of your spine down to the center of the planet and you're just gonna release any energy that's not yours any foreign energy other people's energies Anything that just is not your highest essence, you just let it fall down your grounding cord. You can make your grounding cord really slippery so that the energy just falls right down. It could be like a vacuum, kind of sucks the energy out of your space. And you can just see the energy kind of leaving your space, all the energy that's not yours. Um, yawning is really good. It's also uh, a way to release energy. And just make sure you breathe into your body. If there's any tightness or anything, you can kind of breathe into those areas and also just see it as a color. And just kind of watch it fall just effortlessly down, down your grounding cord. You can try dropping different things down your grounding cord, so. And your grounding cord could be as simple as a tree trunk. It could be a chain of feathers or um, daisies or it could be like a metal rod or you can think of it as a waterfall. I usually don't like to do that because then I feel like I have to pee. But your grounding cord could be anything, just something that connects the base of your spine, your first chakra down to the center of the planet. And basically all the energy is just going down to this big recycling zone. So the energy can be transferred and returned back to whoever it belongs to. So I like to start off with like dropping like a, a bowling ball down my grounding cord and just watching it go down. You'll kind of notice when you're grounded and you're in your body, you feel more present. You feel like you're, you're more alert. You don't get so swayed by your circumstances. You can try dropping like a car down your grounding cord. <sighs> and if there's any like person that's you, you see their energy in your space, you can just like see that person or their energy and you can drop their energy down the grounding cord. Some people like to have other people's energies in their space. So then it doesn't leave enough, you know, room for your energy they're like taking up space in your in your space and you're going to function the best when you're running your own energy your own life force your own um, essence <sighs> so I just like to you know if it's like there's any family energy I can like say different things and like whatever lights up in my space for that particular person or thing. I can see it lighting up as an energy in my space. And then I can just watch it kind of go down, get sucked out of my space. <sighs> Sometimes I'll put my students on my grounding cord if they're in my space. Just kind of watch their energy go down. So it's just this big, you know, it's like a, a conduit connects the first chakra to the center of the planet. It's just on release. 
Just letting go of anything that you've been hanging on to. The news, anything that's on social media. Just watch it go down your grounding cord. You'll start to notice like um, feeling more room in your space, in your body. And it's like the natural process of releasing energy. You also want to refill your space up. So um, because you're going to create this void in yourself and it's going to want to fill up with something. So um, it's good to kind of call back your energy. So let's create a golden sun above your head. And it has a magnet in the middle. And it's calling back all the energy from wherever you left it. And you're going to reach up. Rub your hands together, reach up, and you're going to bring down that golden sun once it's completely full. And you're going to bring it down into your space. And it's just going to refill your space, reset your chakras. Just fill you up with life force energy. Hmm. It should feel really good when you bring in golden sun. And you can always bring in as many as you want. Don't be stingy. So, golden sun, magnet in the middle, it's calling back all my energy from wherever I left it, people I talked to, people I interacted with, social media, the news, um, responsibilities I had to deal with, tasks, anything, neighbors. <sighs> oh, and it's calling that energy. Bring it into your space. And you can still be releasing energy out of your grounding cord. It's kind of like a maintenance, so you have to kind of continually be releasing energy just because we just are naturally, especially if you're an empath, you're going to be soaking up other people's energies just from being around, being on this planet. So you want to make sure you ground. Otherwise, you're just going to have, it's not going to be very fun being in your space. You just have to continually clean out your space. Just make room for your essence. I like to make my grounding cord really slippery so nothing can hang on and just go straight down. Yeah, I'm just bring in some more golden suns. Call back your energy. You can also be just be in the center of your head. So you can do the finger poke test in between your eyes, back of your head, and then you're above your two ears. And that space where those two lines cross, that's where you want to put your focus. So it's almost like you have to kind of, you know, you might have to take the elevator up <laughs> to find that, to find the center of your head or take the elevator down, down to the center of your head. But that's where you want to put your focus. It's where your center of head is, your um, third eye. So yeah, I can bring in some more golden suns. And what I like to do is I like to kind of bend over and touch the floor and then kind of like it like dumps out any excess energy out of my space. But you'll notice like after grounding, you, you start to feel lighter, you feel more. For me, it's like I feel like I'm in my happy space when I'm meditating. And when I'm in my happy space, I'm less likely to get, you know, thrown around or swayed by my circumstances. So it's really important, especially now with everything going on. I feel like it's just good to, to be centered in your space and just really, really just be present in your body. So thanks for joining me. See you next time.